curfew has begun across Thailand after the army announced it had taken control and suspended the constitution following months of political turmoil. The army chief imposed the 2200 hours to 5 o'clock curfew, along with a ban on political gatherings and suspension of normal television programming. Key political figures have been detained and others ordered to report to the military. The army said it needed to restore order and enact political reforms. It declared martial law on Tuesday but then gathered political leaders together for talks on the crisis. However, Army Chief General Prayuth Chanaka went on air on Thursday to announce the coup. Several key figures at the talks, including opposition protest leader Suthap Thorg Saban and pro-government protest leader Jachaporn Prompan, were detained. Acting PM Luay Tam Rong Boon Song Phazen was not at the talks and his whereabouts are unclear. However, he and all cabinet ministers were ordered to report to the military on Thursday. In the dark protest groups in and around Bangkok have been dispersed but the operations are reported to have been largely peaceful. One key flashpoint was the pro-government red shirt protest camp on Bangkok's western outskirts. Hundreds of troops blocked cars from getting within 2 kilometers, 1.2 miles, of the site, which was left eerily quiet as protesters packed up. One of them, Ungkin, told Reuters news agency, the troops came, the leaders left. We weren't scared. This coup will not help anyone, it won't help this country. Reuters also quoted Futifong Kamingfan, a red shirt leader from the northeastern town of Kankanas saying, we are completely in the dark. We haven't had any orders or coordination yet. Anti-government protesters were also seen packing up in central Bangkok. The first curfew has started but as the deadline loomed there was heavy traffic on the streets of the capital with people trying to get home. The army has staged at least 12 coups since the end of the absolute monarchy in 1932. One Bangkok flower seller, Pinka Pipatada, 65, was witnessing a fourth coup and said, I hope the soldiers have come out this time to solve the problem once and for all. Television has been restricted to broadcasts by the military. The BBC CNN and other channels are off air. The military issued a second bulletin in the afternoon, spelling out the key points of the takeover.